Good morning, everyone. A very warm welcome on uh, today's webinar on IFCC's for certification scheme. Good morning. Um, Good morning. Since uh, it's a very high interest and we are very grateful that there are many participants, uh, we kindly I ask all the participants to mute their microphones. So please kindly turn off uh, the microphones during the presentations. At the end, uh, there will be possibility for ask uh, questions and answers, but for the time being, please um, mute your microphones. Um, let me start by saying, uh, introducing myself. My name is Hubert Inheiser. I'm a technical officer at PEFC International uh, within the technical unit, and it's my pleasure to welcome you on uh, today's webinar, which is part of the public consultation on IFCC's first certification scheme. Please be advised uh, that the meeting um, is recorded and uh, later it will be put on the PFC website uh, where it will be accessible on our YouTube page. The program for today will be uh, a short introduction about PFC International. I know that many of you are most likely familiar, but those who joined, which are less familiar with PFC, there will be a short introduction. And afterwards, there will be a detailed presentation delivered by uh, IFCC about their forest certification scheme. Uh, and it will be uh, delivered by Mr. Didik Suharito and Mr. Nurkaiho Adi. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce your name correctly. I do apologize. And at the end, uh, on the third agenda item, there will be questions and answers uh, about the scheme uh, for any participants who wish to seek clarification. So let's start uh, with the first agenda item with PFC International. PFC stands for Program for the Endorsement of Forest Certification Systems. We are an alliance of independent national forest certification systems under the umbrella of PFC International. We provide uh, national forest certification systems uh, which are based on PFC sustainability benchmarks. It's a voluntary mechanism promoting sustainable forest management through independent third party certification. We are the world's largest forest certification system, and we provide uh, three quarters of the world's certified sustainably managed wood. Here you can see our global coverage. As of today, uh, we have uh, 55 national members uh, with 48 endorsed system, covering a total of 320 million hectares of forest. And let's uh, introduce very briefly IFCC. Uh, the scheme uh, which we are about to uh, see was adopted on 25th of uh, January this year. IFCC submitted it uh, shortly afterwards on 8th of February uh, for assessment. Uh, the assessment will be carried out uh, by a PFC uh, assessor yet to be appointed. And uh, the system will be a subject, subject of a 60 days public consultation period. Uh, the public consultation opened yesterday and um, every stakeholder, every interested party is uh, encouraged and welcome to submit their comments until 7th of May. Uh, the link where you can access the documentation is available on our website. And part of this uh, 60 days public consultation, we also conducting this webinar uh, right now where we can present also the system. All comments uh, which are submitted during this public consultation period to PFC International uh, will be considered by the assessor in the assessment report. And uh, without further ado, uh, I would like to uh, invite our colleagues from the Indonesian Forestry Certification Corporation uh, to take over the uh, floor and deliver their presentation on their system. 
I will stop sharing the screen and I ask the colleagues to take over by sharing the screen and start with the presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Hubert. Um, I would like to open my presentation first and then <laughs> can I share the my presentation? Yes, you have uh, co-host privileges. Please okay, feel free okay. to share it. Thank you. Wait, 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 wait. Until the presentation opens, some other participants joined. Uh, I kindly ask again all participants to mute their microphones. Thank you very much. It's not arrived yet. Okay, sit this one. Can you see my presentation? Yes, uh, but uh, bit, uh, put it on full screen. That's it. Thank you. Is it okay? Okay, yeah. Uh, thank you, Hubert. First of all, I would like to, sorry, I would like to convey my sincere gratitude um, for the opportunity for us to present the the uh, standard revision process. Actually, we have uh, two presentations. The first presentation is about the introduction, how we process the standard revision, and the second presentation will be presented by Didi Suarjito. He will presenting um, scheme in more detail about the uh, new scheme after we we are doing uh, revise uh, our old certification, our old standard. So why we need revision? Uh, based on PFC standard setting requirement, that is PFC ST. 1001-2017, and also IFCC standard setting procedure, IFCC PD 1000-2012, ST is a standard and PD is procedure. The IFCC standard shall be reviewed at interval not exceed five-year period. So it's the time for IFCC to review the standard based on our previous endorsement that we got in two, 2014 and previously approved by the Board of Directors on October 2013. And then also we consider input and feedback from stakeholders during the implementation of IFCC standard within five years since 2014-2015 and also we are we did the research and studies that uh, conducted by our expert as well as the gap anal analysis between ifcc st 1000s again the new standard of pfc that is pfc st 1003 2018 and then the the, the search consideration is that because of the development of IFCC and PFC certification in Indonesia, it's quite uh, uh, amazing and I think because within five years we 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 improve our certification areas in 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 significant uh, number. So before I continue to to present about the. Uh, revision process. Uh, I will give brief explanation about the Indonesian forest context. Actually, the government of Indonesia make a category of uh, forests based on its function. So they divide the uh, function of forests into uh, conservation forests. HK, HK here is a uh, conservation forest, HL is protected forest, HPD and HP is a production forest. So if we total the production forest, where is the, the location of certification uh, implemented is about totally is about 
57 sorry 56 million hectares so 656 million hectare is potential for us to implement a certification in Indonesia besides the the state owned forest we also have the community forest that based on some data that we got either from government and also from NGO that we have more than 5 million hectares that it's uh, inside state forest and also outside forest areas. This number 56 and also more than 5 million hectare community forest is potential for IFCC GPFC development in Indonesia. So that's why we still need uh, endorsement of uh, our standard to PFC to continue our promotion of sustainable forest in Indonesia. So in Indonesia, actually, the forest certification and initiative has been exist since 30 years ago. 30, yeah, 30 years ago since since 1990 something. So now currently we have a mandatory scheme that is the scheme that developed by Ministry of Environment and, and Forestry that is mandatory for all companies, uh, all forest companies in Indonesia. And also we have three voluntary schemes, including IFCC, PFC certification, one national scheme and two international schemes. So far, IFCC has certified 69 forest management unit cover about 3.9 million hectares and also we have uh, 38 companies that got COC certificates so uh, our scope of revision process is uh, for for sustainable forest management and also for chain of custody of forest and tree based products where uh, which is I, I highlight in yellow color here is the, the the main the main standard of the IFCC standard for SFM we also ref, review revise this the, the the supporting standard for supporting standard and also for procedures to to implement sustainable forest management standard whereas for chain of custody we fully adopt bfc standard of coc of chain of custody because of the policy of C, uh, pfc and there is no no ini national initiative for coc so international uh, standard of PFC can be implemented in Indonesia. The states of uh, our revision actually start from January 2019. We and then uh, the second state is uh, preparatory states. It start on March, and then the developing standard committee, and then inquiry states, approval states, and then the last one is the publication stages in the proposal states that we start in january until june 2019 we develop project proposal but be, because be, 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 before we develop project proposal the ifcc has uh, set up the team for doing the revision and i was assigned as the coordinator of this project and this uh, project proposal defines scope, objective, basic principle, basis responsibilities, and timetable of the revision process. And then this project proposal shared to stakeholders through public announcement, through website, and also direct email to stakeholders, to IFCC stakeholders. And then after that, sorry, Okay, I can see. And then they, after we got the inputs from uh, stakeholders, we presented the 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 uh, proposal uh, based on the input and also based on our proposal previously, and then presented to IFCC Board of Director, BOD, and approved by BOD 
at the meeting on June 28, 2019. The second stage is the uh, is the preparation preparatory stage that is start from March until July 2019. We do we did the stakeholders mapping and we have identified more than 300 organizations and individuals at the time, and we announced. Uh, our, our proposal and our standard setting procedures. And also we invite uh, stakeholders to, to give the name and nominee of member to be member of standard committee. This announcement and invitation is from May 10 until uh, June 10, 2019. This is published through the website. Our mailing list, uh, Rimba One Interactive, is the Forester Interactive, and also direct email to stakeholders. And at the time, uh, after we got inputs about standard setting procedures, and then we uh, we proposed to to BOD, IFCC BOD, and then approved by IFCC BOD on 28 June 2019. Uh, it's also in this date that uh, IFCC BOD also approved the uh, standard committee members. The standard committee consists of 42 members representing expertise that uh, consists of people that knows well about the sun, uh, sustainable development that is social aspect, economical aspect, and also the uh, environmental aspect. And we invite people organization affected by the standard uh, and also people organization that have influence in implementation of the standard. And then uh, we, IFCC Secretariat, prepare for the first standard to be given to, to, to the uh, standard committee. Uh, standard committee, uh, in, 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 in daily basis, is working uh, helped by the draft working group. Uh, so steering co uh, standard committee develop set up the draft working group that consists of expert and, 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 and some uh, of the organization stakeholders of, of IFCC that uh, doing intensively in preparation of revision, standard revision. And then they, they gave the, the working group, gave the uh, result of their meeting. I think it's more than 20 times uh, standard uh, working group have meeting and then uh, give it the result of the, their meeting to the standard committee meeting. Standard committee meeting have three times uh, meeting. The first meeting is on 1st August 2019. And then the second meeting is about uh, 18 February to 2020. And the third meeting is 27 October 2020. <laughs> The next step is uh, inquiry stage that is from 24 February until 28 July 2020. Uh, public cons consultation through website, mailing list, and also the direct email to stakeholders from 24 February until 23rd April 2020. 20, and then uh, we extend it to, to 28 July because uh, probably because of COVID, there is uh, the activities is, is uh, slow down. So the, we, we need extension to, to get more input from stakeholders. And we, we did seminar. Actually, we plan to have planned a seminar on March 2020, but because of COVID, uh, seminar conducted online and is national seminar was organized virtually on 14 July 2020 by Zoom and at the time it was attended by more than 500 
participants on Zoom and also uh, YouTube. Probably that uh, participants that attended now is also attending uh, the uh, seminar at that time. So in the approval stage, we uh, on 25th January 2021, the IFCC General Assembly for formally approved the IFCC ST1001, IFCC ST1002, and related documents, and adopted PFC International Standard that previously approved by IFCC BOD. And the final states is uh, publication states on February 2021 is. Uh, IFCC published the following documents at the IFCC website, along with press release that uh, mentioning about formally approved IFCC standard, procedural documents, adopted PEFC international standard, and the standard revision report. So, in summary, actually, that we 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 have been doing revision from January until January two. 2019 until uh, 8 February 2021, which is uh, 25 months. And in this whole process, we invite stakeholders to give inputs and involvement of, of in, uh, actively involved in this in this process. So that's all my presentation. Um, the next presentation will be presented by uh, Professor Didi Suarjito that will talk more detail about the uh, standard of IFCC that will be revised and proposed to BFC to be endorsed. Thank you. Thank you very much for the very detailed presentation. Very much appreciated. Um, if I may ask you now to stop uh, scaring, uh, sharing your screen. Yeah, okay. And uh, I will ask the professor to prepare uh, with his presentation and he can proceed also by sharing his screen. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. Uh, good morning uh, or afternoon in Indonesian time. Uh, my name is Didik Suarjito. Uh, I'll be, I will be uh, presenting uh, the standards uh, structures, uh, especially uh, focus on uh, IFCC ST1001 and I would like to share my uh, It's sorry. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Now, uh, <coughs> actually, I would like uh, to present a uh, little bit uh, comprehensive the new versions, but uh, I would like to focus uh, on the new. Uh, uh, indicators or uh, new uh, items yeah, uh, in, in the, in the uh, new versions of the uh, IPCC standards. Uh, yeah, we submit uh, documents uh, including uh, standards uh, for the certification scheme introductions and then uh, for the requirement, sustainable forest management, uh, and then so the uh, bodies providing audit and certification, uh, certification of sustainable forest management. Uh, IPCC uh, trademark rules, and then so 
we uh, adopted uh, BFC uh, standard uh, for trademark uh, rules requirement. Uh, and as uh, Mr. Lusayo uh, Adi explained that uh, we just uh, adopted the uh, BFC standard concerning uh, chain of custody and then the requirement for certification bodies operating uh, in certifications and then the standard setting procedures uh, and then the uh, FCC trademark license in Indonesia notification and uh, FCC procedure for a group forest uh, management. Uh, basically, this uh, new versions uh, are different uh, from the old. I, I would like to say the old uh, version. The old versions uh, actually, uh, basi basically, the old uh, versions uh, consists of uh, three components or three aspects. Uh, including uh, social, economics, and uh, ecological aspect. Uh, in the new uh, versions, it is a different structure. We follow the new uh, structure of the international standard of uh, BFC. Uh, here, we follow the management system. So in this, uh, in our uh, documents, uh, we propose an one sc a scope and then some normative uh, reference and definitions. Uh, and the, I think the uh, the core of the uh, document consists of leadership, planning, support, operations, performance uh, evaluations, uh, and improvement. So uh, we saw here that the structure of the IFCC uh, standards, uh, requirement standards, uh, consists of uh, six uh, components, yeah, uh, leadership, planning, supporting uh, resources, operations, uh, performance uh, evaluation, and uh, improvement. If we uh, put the uh, criteria and indicators uh, in the leadership's components, consists of uh, two uh, criteria and three uh, indicators. Uh, in planning, uh, consists of uh, three criteria and uh, 13 indicators. And then uh, in support component, consists of uh, five criteria and five indicators, and so on. Yeah. Uh, like this, that uh, we follow the management system so uh, the the old of the uh, component uh, in this uh, requirements uh, consists of planning operation performance evaluation improvement yeah? and this uh, supports by the uh, leaderships uh, supporting uh, resources yeah? uh, and uh, i would like to focus to I would like to focus uh, on the new uh, requirements. So uh, I don't uh, explain all the uh, requirement, but uh, we would like to focus uh, on the new uh, requirement. Yeah, I would like to compare. Uh, uh, between the, the old uh, versions and the new uh, versions here. Uh, yeah, uh, according to uh, the old uh, versions, consists of uh, three aspects. And then we divide it into uh, three sections. Yeah. Requirement for the natural forest and plantation forest, uh, specific requirement for the management of natural forest, and specific requirement for the management of uh, plantation forest. In the new uh, requirements, yeah. uh, in planning, yeah. this is the, the, the new the new uh, indicator or the new uh, items uh, that uh, we uh, adopted 
here, uh, or we, we propose in the new uh, versions about the management of risk and uh, opportun uh, opportunity. This uh, requirements uh, has not been uh, included in the uh, old uh, version. Uh, according to these uh, new uh, items, the organization shall have in place management of risk and opportunities concerning compliance with the requirement for the sustainable forest uh, management. In the planning uh, component also, we adapt uh, anti-corruption this is new uh, issue in in this uh, certification standards. Yeah, uh, at this, uh, I think it is also a very important uh, indicators uh, should be uh, measured in the in, in the uh, uh, in the fields. Yeah, uh, the organization shall comply with local, national, and ratified international legislation on forest management, including, but not limited to the practices of forest management, nature and environmental protection, endangered and protected species, property, tenure, and land use rights for indigenous people, local communities, or other affected uh, stakeholders. Here we emphasize, as well as other issues, related to the health, labor, safety, and anti-corruption in the payment of applicable royalties and tax. The other issue that's uh, very important in the planning uh, component is the uh, human rights. This uh, issue uh, has not been uh, included in the old uh, person yet, the organization shall respect human rights in forest uh, practice. I mean, it is uh, actually uh, has been included, but it is not, uh, what is it, uh, not um, emphasized yeah, uh, in, in the uh, old versions, yeah. but in, here in the new uh, versions, uh, we have a statement yeah, about the human rights. Yeah. So I, uh, we, we, we emphasize this uh, issue, human rights in forest practices and operation in accordance with national and ratified international legislation. Now in the uh, operation component, this issue also, I think, uh, has been uh, adapted by international uh, stakeholders. Yeah. And in this new version, our uh, standard uh, put this issue uh, in the uh, our uh, standards. Yeah. The organization will encourage uh, climate positive practices in management operation, which include, but not limited to greenhouse gas emissions reduction and efficient use of resources. Uh, the uh, second issues uh, related to the operation here is afforestation. Yeah. Afforestation of ecologically important non-forest uh, ecosystem. The organization will not carry out afforestation of ecologically important non-forest ecosystem unless in justified circumstances where the conversion. So uh, here, I think uh, the afforestation uh, activities uh, cannot be uh, implemented unless it is uh, we have uh, justified uh, argument or 
justify its uh, circumstance. Conversation of separate degraded uh, forest to forest plantation. I think it, it is uh, old issues about uh, conversion, but uh, we put uh, in this new uh, versions uh, and emphasize in this uh, issues. The organization, if conversion of severely degraded forest to forest plantation is being considered sell at economic, ecological, social, and or culture value. Precondition of adding such value uh, circumstances where the conversion, we have uh, some requirement here, yeah. requisite, I think. And then uh, in the uh, operation, we also put the uh, timber tracking. Yeah. Actually, this timber tracking, uh, tra uh, timber tracking uh, has been included uh, or has been uh, mentioned in the old uh, versions. Yeah. But here also we uh, emphasize uh, to have a uh, new uh, what is this new uh, requirements and so we put some uh, more detail yeah more detail uh, how to uh, track the uh, timber uh, on forest yeah on forest so in the uh, new versions uh, we have uh, these uh, indicators the organization shall have in place and implement tracking and tracing procedures of forest product to ensure that the harvested and transported forest products within organization's area comes from certified forest area. The procedure shall describe at the minimum of the following provisions. Person responsible in product tracking methods of the product uh, identification, uh, the forest products claim shall uh, is be identif identifiable and traceable to prove that the product were harvested from the certified forest. And uh, in the last components, uh, we have a performance evaluation. I think the, the not the last, yeah. Uh, yeah, in the performance uh, evaluations, we have uh, internal audit, yeah, internal audit. So we express uh, the internal audits that the organization shall periodically uh, conduct internal audits program that provide information on whether the management system conform to the organization requirement for its management system the requirement of these standards and uh, effectively implemented and maintained. The organization shall assign person to be responsible for the internal audit. So uh, basically this uh, internal, uh, internal audit has been, uh, I think has been implemented in, uh, uh, what is it? In, the, in the organization, yeah, in the unit management. But we now uh, would like to uh, emphasize yeah, how the performance evaluation uh, shall, uh, shall be implemented and uh, ensure the, 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 the uh, sustainable forest management. Define the audit criteria and scope for its audit. Uh, select auditors and conduct audit to ensure objective objectivity and the impartiality of the audit uh, process. Yeah, I think this uh, very uh, important uh, um, aspect. Yeah, uh, independent uh, audit. Yeah, and the last uh, uh, improvement. In the uh, 
improvement component we have uh, indicators uh, mentions the organization cell in the occurrence of non conformity yeah so we when uh, the organizations uh, have non conformity uh, indicators or uh, conditions uh, should react to the con non conformity and as applicable take action yeah, to control and correct it deal with the consequences and then uh, evaluate the need for action to eliminate the causes of the non-conformity in order to prevent recur recurrence or occurrence elsewhere by reviewing the non-conformity and then determining the causes of the non-conformity determining if similar non-conformities exist or could potentially occur implement any action needed review the effectiveness of any corrective action taken make change to the management system if necessary the organization shall retain documented information as evidence of the nature of the non conformities and any subsequent actions taken the result of any corrective action and continual improve, continuous uh, improvement yeah. the organization shall continuously improve uh, suitability adequacy and effectiveness of the sustainable forest management system and its implementation i think uh, what i would like to share with you uh, about the new uh, versions uh, I emphasize on uh, new uh, issues uh, has not been uh, included in all the uh, uh, versions yet. Thank you. Robert. Thank you very much, uh, Professor, for the uh, presentation. It was also very insightful. Uh, if I may ask now to, yes, uh, share, uh, stop the screen sharing. And uh, I think now uh, we have uh, the chance, I also start. Now we have the chance uh, for from the audience to ask questions. Um, I would uh, only just mention that uh, since the public consultation provides uh, insight for the complete documentation of the in Indonesian forest certifications uh, system, uh, I would like to ask uh, the audience if they have questions to focus on clarification questions, uh, because the full documentation is available and uh, they can get familiar with if they don't know or they require more detailed uh, knowledge about the system and its components. And uh, with this, uh, I would like to ask uh, anyone who has questions to use the raise hand function uh, amongst the buttons. And uh, we have uh, uh, time for a couple of questions. The floor is open. Prof. Harry, please. Yeah. Okay, thank you, uh, Professor Didi. I have uh, one question of clarification, actually. Yes, yes. On yes. the uh, seven one point, you mentioned is uh, shall not do a forestation of ecologically important non-forest ecosystem. To me, with uh, uh, I don't know what what does it mean. A forestation to me is to a uh, plan or to make a forest in the area is not a forest yet. So uh, what does it mean? A forestation of ecologically important non-forest ecosystem. So um, could you provide an example of it? Thank you, Professor Didi. Okay. I must uh, answer directly, Herbert. 
Yes, please uh, go ahead. Um, whoever feels more confident to reply for the question, yes. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, uh, thank you, Prof. Uh, Harry. Uh, you mentioned about the afforestation, yes. Uh, in this uh, new version, uh, actually, uh, we cannot uh, do afforestation uh, in the area that's uh, ecologically uh, important. Uh, for example, uh, in the what you call it, uh, savanna, yeah, uh, in in savanna uh, forest, yeah, uh, because uh, it is natural, yeah, natural uh, forest. Even there is no uh, trees uh, in this area, but we cannot plant uh, uh, trees in this area yeah, because it is an uh, it is uh, ecologically important. Uh, so we cannot uh, plant the trees uh, in this area. Uh, if we, we plant uh, trees, even it is important for uh, carbon, for example, but uh, according to the ecological aspect, it is will, will, uh, dis uh, will disturb uh, the, the area. So it is, uh, we, we, we cannot plant and then uh, we hinder the, the what's it, uh, uh, the, disturbance uh, causes yeah uh, i think uh, savanna and uh, what is it yeah uh, yeah um, in uh, sagu area for example yeah uh, sagu forest yeah we, we cannot uh, convert the sagu uh, forest by planting uh, the the timbers uh, or the, the the trees yeah yeah this is for 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 the example yeah, another example. Can I can I add the the yeah. the, the example? Yeah, probably in in, in uh, Baluran National Park in in East Java, there is a savanna, and we cannot uh, plant the trees in 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 savannas areas in the Baluran National Park. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. It's clear to me now. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very Eric, much. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, I see that there's another question. Uh, Sueb Abuhani, uh, I'm sorry for Hanifah, the pronunciation. Yeah. Yes, please, please go ahead Sueb and ask Abu the question. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, thank you uh, for the uh, it's about the uh, FBIC issues. I. Uh, as we understand, most of the forests in Indonesia is used by the local community, as well as, well as uh, the forests in the Papua. So I don't see any issues of the FBIC on the certification. I think that's place all. Okay. Thank you, Basuaib, uh, yeah, Abu Hanifa. Thank you for your uh, uh, question. Uh, yeah, in Papua or any others, uh, other Indonesian. Sorry. In, in yeah, in in Papua or the others, uh, local communities or uh, customary uh, community in Indonesia. We have, uh, I think, we have uh, some uh, local and uh, customary community in Indonesia. So, uh, actually, if the uh, sorry for, for the uh, for the uh, Papua community, I think it is a special uh, or particular uh, community. So we have. Uh, Community forest, yeah. We have a community forest uh, standards. Uh, we we can uh, implement uh, the uh, community forest uh, certification uh, certification scheme, yeah. Uh, when the uh, forest managed by the local community or the uh, customary uh, community, yeah, adapt community, I mean, yeah. 
uh, year in, in Indonesia we call it uh, masyarakat adat adat community yeah. uh, so we we implement the uh, community forest uh, standard not uh, in this I, I mean so we we do not uh, implement this uh, standard uh, uh, as uh, standard uh, 1001 yeah we have uh, a special uh, standard for 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 the community uh, forest yeah it is this is my 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 explanation Thank you very much. Um, you have, sorry, sorry. Uh, until uh, we allow a bit of time to to steal the audience to ask questions, but allow me also from one question from my side because uh, it's very uh, exciting that you included uh, the trees outside the forest uh, component in your documents, uh, and uh, just uh, maybe for the uh, sake for other interested. Uh, countries, would you mind uh, sharing that? What would be the what is the rationale and what you expect from these trees outside the forest component? That would be also something very interesting, I think, for many. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I would like to, I, I try to uh, answer your, your questions, uh, Herbert. Yeah, um, three outside uh, forest of uh, according to the, uh, the concept or uh, the, the definition it is uh, uh, trees yeah, uh, on the outside national forest in in indonesian uh, concept or terminology i think uh, pak ucok uh, explain uh, explain about that yeah uh, we divided uh, state forest i mean uh, permanent forest and non permanent forest yeah top uh, the trees uh, grow in, in in the non uh, permanent forest yeah so when we uh, we have uh, the the permanent forest uh, the, the sun that cover the, the this this uh, permanent forest yeah but when the trees grow uh, in the non permanent forest we uh, apply the uh, top uh, standard uh, top requirement i think this is my my explanation excellent thank you very you much can, uh, add, uh, pa Uso. yeah uh, can yeah. i can i can i add more uh, actually the as i mentioned earlier in the, my presentation that state owned forest is uh, is is a huge actually but there is a growing uh, concerns that the community forest start to grow uh, plantation forests outside the forest and their agri and their agricultural land and also in their own land. Uh, so we see that a lot of product coming from outside forests. I mean outside of state forests that grows by community surrounding the forest and also. Uh, and also, a private companies started to 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 grow the trees outside the forest. For example, uh, they they convert uh, they convert rubber into into uh, trees that categorize as the forest product. So since they are growing uh, in outside forest areas, so this is our potential to to implement our certification scheme. Thank you. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much for both of these details. I think it's very important that also these motivations are explained. Thank you very much. And I see that there are two uh, additional uh, questions from uh, first uh, uh, Ahmad Karsidi. Please yes. go ahead. Yes. Uh, thank you, pa Professor Didik. I think uh, the presentation is uh, very interesting. And I'm quite new here uh, learning about the IFCC standard. And I'm just wondering in this review whether there is a change related to the cut of date uh, as being part of the standards uh, in this section, or is there any further discussion uh, regarding this cut of date standard? As we understand that 
there is a lot of um, plantation forest uh, cannot proceed to the IFC standard uh, because of this uh, standard, uh, this uh, uh, cut of debt requirement. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Ahmad RCD. Yes. Uh, according to the international uh, standards, uh, we follow the international standard. Yeah. That's a conver conversion from the natural forest. Uh, to be in plantation forest, it is uh, it is cannot be uh, certified. So, uh, in our uh, uh, version, in our uh, standards, uh, we cannot uh, certify uh, the uh, plantation forest. But uh, we have uh, opportunity to certify the plantation forest when. Uh, of course, when uh, meet uh, some uh, requirements, uh, we have uh, some requirements uh, uh, for the uh, plantation forest certification to be implemented in this area. Okay, yeah, our, our cut of it actually is on 2010. So after, uh, if there is the land clear, land clearing after 10,010, is not allowed to. To have certification based on the IFCC VFC scheme. Okay, which is mean there is no uh, opportunities to to change that uh, kind of that at the moment. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, and there is one more question from uh, Genaisa uh, Putri. Please go ahead with your question. Thank you, Hubert. Uh, so uh, first of all, uh, this is a really interesting uh, presentation from uh, Professor Didik and Mas, uh, Mas Nur Cahyo Adi. So uh, this is a follow-up question about the trees outside for us, actually. So uh, my question will be, so in Indonesia, uh, the forest uh, can be converted into other uh, non-forest land use uh, through uh, a certain mechanism. For example, you can convert it or you can bulldoze it. When that happens, you will cl clear cutting all the timber from uh, that land, right? So in Indonesia, we uh, for that, there is a, uh, a specific license. We call it IPK, IPK timber. So my question will be, will this a new standard of IOCC can certify those timber coming from Ipeka uh, uh, area or not. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Ganesha. Ganesha Putri. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, for the uh, conversion so forest uh, area, Ipeka, yeah. Uh, so if the national uh, plannings determine that this area uh, included in the conversion uh, forest. Uh, I mean, uh, the, the, confer, uh, the, the forest, the, the conversion uh, forest. Uh, I mean, the converted forest area. So uh, it is, I think, submit to to the to the uh, requirements that. Uh, the, the the I mean uh, the the forest uh, the the, pro, the the forest products uh, come from this area from uh, come from the uh, converted uh, area uh, can be certified uh, according to uh, I mean following the the uh, following to the uh, control uh, control sources yeah not uh, certi uh, not certi uh, I mean uh, we cannot implement the uh, certification uh, standard, but we we have also the uh, requirement for the uh, uh, control uh, control sources. Yeah, so uh, the the timber come from this area, come from the uh, converted uh, forest area, uh, can be uh, controlled by uh, our uh, our uh, standard requirement. Yes, I think based on the sustainable forest management standard, 
the IPK is cannot be certified because it's, uh, we, if we consider about sustainable aspect, this is the uh, social, economic, and environmental aspect. I'm afraid that they are not fulfill our requirement as a sustainable forest. But as mentioned by Professor Didik, that their product, their 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 uh, chamber, it could be possibly uh, certified based on control sources. But it's not the forest. It's not considered as sustainable forest. But it is if if the wood, the timber is is cutting down and then send it to to manufacture or to processors in the in the next process of the uh, chain of custody it could be considered as the control source but it's not sustainable it's not co considered as certified sources ah yeah okay thank you master chop thank you Padidi. yeah thank you Can I say? thank you very much um also for the explanation, and uh, I don't see any further questions. Um, I think, again, that both the presentations were very detailed and very focused on particularly changes, which is very important, I think, at this stage. Um, and I'm, uh, I think that now, if there is no further questions, uh, I don't see any more. I would like to thank uh, both of you, Professor, and Nurka Ayadi, thank you very much for taking thank the time much. for uh, making the presentations and joining for us. And with this, I would like to also thank the whole uh, IFCC team because they also supported to a high extent the preparations for this webinar. Thank you all for the participants for joining question. us. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yes. one more question. I think that's just a thumbs up. Congratulations okay. for the okay. for the. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Pat. Thank you, Masucha. Thank you, all of uh, us, uh, all the participants. Thank you, thank you very much. And with this, uh, I would like to wish you a, a lovely day and uh, all the best and goodbye. Thank you. Thank goodbye. you.